Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Autumn of the Mage. Taurus? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a general message in regards to love for Taurus. Uh, thank you so much for stopping here in my channel to view the message and see if it is for you. I really appreciate it. It's uh, If it does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. It might not be your story, and that's okay. There may be a message for you here anyway if it is not your story, uh, if you were drawn to watch the video for some reason. But if there isn't, I want to say thank you either way for stopping to watch the video. I, I really do appreciate it. I think I might have already said that. I'm sorry for repeating myself. Anyway, it's general. It might not resonate. We're going to take a look first at the Moonology Oracle cards for a general overall feeling of the situation. Then we're going to use tarot to take a look at how you feel about the person you're connecting with, how they feel about you. We'll clarify those cards. And then finally draw an oracle message for advice from notes from the universe. So let's go ahead and get started. Can I please get um, a card for Taurus in regards to love? For Taurus, please. Okay, the card that you get is step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. I'm going to read the message from the book for you. Step out of your comfort, comfort zone. I feel like that's a tough one for Taurus. I feel like Taurus is very, uh, you know, Okay, the words that come to mind maybe don't sound very great. Oh my gosh, it's the final card in the deck. That's interesting. Um, step out of your comfort zone. There is a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction, to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? All right, Taurus, let's take a look at Tarot. We are going to start with the mystical manga here. And take a look at how you feel about the person you are connecting with. Can I get three cards for how Taurus feels? Whoa, oh, oh. The first one that comes out here is the Hermit card, which is Virgo energy. You might be dealing with a Virgo. But this is someone who's really thinking, okay? Really gone within to, to find what your, what your real hopes and wishes are. Looking in at that inner light that guides us, that inner hope and that inner... Um, understanding of ourselves. Okay. Can we please get two more cards for how Taurus feels about the person they're connecting with? So this is really thinking on a connection. Ace of coins, ace of pentacles sometimes. Uh, and this is coins, pentacles represent things that are tangible in our lives. Okay. The material world, but really stability and commitment. And this is about wanting a new beginning and wanting to build something with someone that lasts for a very long time. Coins represent stability. So it's wanting a new beginning, uh, wanting a new beginning and wanting to build on something stable. Okay. Let's see here. The last card we get is the emperor, which is Aries energy. So you might be dealing with an Aries. Um, but the emperor is someone who is who has a lot on their shoulders, okay? But they're really very capable of, of handling it. The emperor is very confident energy, okay? And, well, he's going to get what he wants. And he kind of already has it. And he's definitely the emperor. He's in charge. So we're, we'll clarify this, but it's um, really kind of having the confidence and having confidence in a situation. And... Knowing what you want and knowing you can have it. Let's take a look at how they feel about you. Uh, 
how does this person feel in regards to um, in regards to Taurus? And this might be how you see them. Like you might see them as just a really confident person and capable, really capable, and like they know what they deserve and they know what they they want. Okay, with the Emperor, that's just very kind of. It's kind of boss energy, you know, like it's mine and I, it's mine. So of course I have it. Of course I'm going to have it. Of course I'm going to win because it's just got that kind of energy. But let's take a look. How does this person feel about Taurus? Can we please, how does this person, how does the person connecting with Taurus feel about them? Um, the nine of wands, this is determined energy. Okay. Someone who's definitely, um, not giving up. All right. They're on a course and they're, they're not walking away. We also get the tower. Um, and that, that's a change. Something has changed in this connection or something needs to change. My goodness, you get this, the person you're connecting with comes up with tower a lot, Taurus. I don't know, but, but this is them either feeling like something needs to change or feeling like something has changed drastically. This is very sudden and drastic change. And um, sometimes it feels like it's negative, but sometimes it feels good because it was, it was a change that needed to happen. So they either are seeking a drastic change with you or they feel like something has changed in this connection, okay? We're going to clarify that, but can we get one more card? How does this person feel about Taurus? That's interesting because you're being called to step out of your comfort zone, and this is definitely out of your comfort zone, okay? So if they're um, wanting change, you might be called to give them that change, but let's see. Let's see. The last card we get is the Nine of Swords. Uh, which is agonizing. This is somebody who's just stressing. They're thinking a lot about you and about this connection and about some aspect of it. And it's causing them to lose sleep. It's causing them to, it's almost bringing them pain. Okay. Which is kind of self-inflicted because they're putting themselves in this state, but there is some aspect of this or this connection that is just really taking up their mind space and not allowing them uh, to rest. Let's clarify the hermit, please. The card that immediately jumped out here was the moon card, okay? <clears throat> and the moon uh, represents things that are hidden, okay? So there is maybe some, maybe you're thinking a lot about something that you're hiding, okay? Because uh, with the moon card, it, like I said, it's something that's hidden that needs to come to light. Not just something that's hidden, but it really needs to be brought out into the light so it can be looked at and faced, okay? Um, it can also be about fears because fears are things that are hidden in the shadows, okay? And when we draw them out and we really look at those fears, then we we realize why we have that fear and it's easier for us to face it and... Um, free ourselves from it. Okay. So this is something hidden. And then we get the Knight of Swords, uh, uh, which is somebody who wants to charge forward with truth and clarity. This is very determined energy, very dedicated energy, uh, but ter determination is a good word for it. And honesty. Okay. Wanting to come forward with clarity. Swords represent truth and clarity. They represent our thoughts. And so this is somebody who's very determined to charge forward. And I think maybe what you're thinking on is something that is hidden or a fear that you need to face. And this is wanting to come forward with that, you know, wanting to um, face it and express it. Okay. Let's take a look at the Ace of Coins. Please clarify the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Pentacles.
for how Taurus feels. Okay, that's got to be a misfire. <laughs> that was too many cards. Can we please get clarification on the Ace of Pentacles? Can you clarify this card for us? Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, we get the Six of Swords. Which could be, um, oh, I didn't say this, but the moon card is Pisces energy, so you might be dealing with a Pisces, or you might have Pisces in your chart, but the Six of Swords is a card about, it, it can be a travel card, so you might be dealing with someone who's at a distance to you, but in this, in this, water represents our emotions, okay, and swords represent clarity and truth, and in, in the Six of Swords, we're feeling our emotions are very turbulent. They're very, um, turbulent really is the best word. And we're moving, we're trying to use logic to move ourselves into calmer water. We're trying to use our mind to calm our um, emotions. Okay, and so this is wanting this new, like, commitment, okay, with somebody and building towards something that will last a long time and you're feeling very uh, emotional about it and you really want to calm your emotions this is about moving from chaos into calm i've said this before moving from uh, confusion into clarity all right and that is what you're looking for in this situation and maybe you need this in order to get to this ace of coins or maybe you're thinking this ace of coin will help you move in this direction Let's take a look at the Emperor. Sorry, I split the deck and the King of Wands came out, which is also Aries energy. But let's take a look at the Emperor. Can you please clarify the Emperor for how Taurus feels? Please clarify the Emperor. We get the Princess of Pentacles. Okay, which is, and we get the Nine of Pentacles. And the Princess of Pentacles is is coming forward with the Pentacle, all right? This card can be like giving a gift to somebody, or it can be about engagement, actually, because the Page of Pentacles here, is, this Pentacle is an offer for stability and commitment, which kind of an engagement ring is, right? And so it, it can be in reference to that. But, and this person here is, is somebody who has, it's the nine of pentacles. She has everything that she could need except that one, all right? That last pentacle, that person that you, that she can share all of this wealth with, okay? The nine of pentacles is somebody who's very attractive um, not just physically, but also her, her world is very attractive. She has, she appears to have everything that she could need speaking in a material and tangible sort of way. Okay. Except someone to share that with, with, except that, that family. Okay. And so this is wanting to, wanting to, I feel like this is wanting to offer that pentacle to this person, this person here that you view as just really stable and attractive. Um, attractive is a word that I'm using, which doesn't necessarily mean physical attraction, which I mean, you probably find them physically attractive, okay? But this is about uh, who they are being attractive, okay? And really wanting to make a gesture that shows that you're, you want that this stability with them not it doesn't necessarily have to be like proposing to them or something along those lines but you want this ace of pentacles okay and this is kind of offering that ace of pentacles and you're really being you called to step step out of your comfort zone maybe there's some aspect of this that you're not 100 percent comfortable with but if this is something you want then you just have you have to make um well, in order to move forward, you'd have to take steps in that direction, okay? 
and with the emperor you could feel that um well i mean like you know that you'd succeed okay uh possibly or like i said the emperor could just be the person that you are connecting with that you want to offer this stability to can we take a look at the the nine of wands for how this person feels about taurus Please clarify the Nine of Wands. The Star. Uh, and this is a wish. This is a hope. Star, The Star card, this is uh, Aquarius energy, so you might be dealing with Aquarius, but this is... This is a big wish, right? They have this wish, this something they want, this really grand, important, magnificent thing, okay? Because the star is a wish that we wish. Uh, my, my words are... Okay, but when we look up at the, sty, at the sky at night and we find that the brightest star out there and we wish upon a star, it's not something small, okay? We're not like wishing for a new pair of shoes, okay? We're wishing for those massive things that we don't think will be easy to get, okay? And this is them really determined to hold on to this wish. Uh, this is really important to them, and they're not letting go, all right? The star can also represent healing, okay? And it may be that they're, they're headed towards healing or uh, need that healing needs to happen in this situation, but... That's just one way to interpret it. Let's take a look at the tower. Please clarify the tower. Please clarify the tower for me. How this person feels about Taurus. Okay, I don't really understand how this is clarifying the tower. This is the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, and the Queen of Cups is has a great, a, a massive amount of emotion towards a situation. Love, compassion, understanding, okay? There's someone who just really, they're really gentle and kind, okay? And loving. And, um... It's possible that they are the Queen of Cups, which cup energy, that's water, so that might be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But um, this definitely represents a person, okay? This represents either themselves or you. I feel like this is them having this, all of this emotion. Like, they have this love for you and this compassion and understanding. And something has happened, I feel... Or they really seeking this change so that they can step into this. This is really how they feel about you. Maybe they're not, maybe they're not expressing it to you. Maybe it's not something that is um, that they're able to show you. Okay, and they're seeking this change so that they can express this. Or if that is not the case, then something has changed. But they're still in this the love. They're still in this. They still have all of this feeling for you in spite of whatever tower has happened, okay? Mm, that doesn't exactly give us a ton of clarity, Taurus. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the Nine of Swords. Can you please clarify the Nine of Swords? It's the Hermit. Which you already know from your side of things is thinking, really. Um, looking inside ourselves for the answer, okay? 
uh, they're really focused on something with the nine of swords. They're losing sleep over it. And this is also Virgo energy. I don't know if I said that you might be dealing with a Virgo, but um, it's really turning within for an answer. Oh my gosh, we get the nine of swords again. The nine of swords to clarify the nine of swords. They are stressed. They are so stressed and they're not necessarily showing you this. Like this is, they're definitely internalizing this stress. They're um, worried. They don't, they're agonizing over something and keeping it internalized. They're not sharing it with you. Really trying to figure it out on their own, trying to like come to terms with it on their own, trying to just solve it within themselves. Well, I don't know if this brings you a ton of clarity, Taurus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this is what came out. Let's take a look at the Oracle cards. Notes from the universe is what we're using here for advice. Perhaps this will help clear it up. I mean, on your side, you're really being like being called to step out of your comfort zone. You really do seem to want to make some kind of gesture here. And I feel like you're being called to make that gesture. Okay, maybe it doesn't feel, I don't know, we, we kind of get stuck. We get stuck in in comfort and we so we don't want to move because we're, we're okay where we are, you know, but we're maybe not happy and we could be happy if we just take steps to make ourselves happy, uh, which can be super hard to do, especially when you're comfortable because why risk that comfort, right? Um and it can be tough to choose to risk that comfort for something magnificent, but you could have that, okay? And I don't know, I feel like you're being called to do that, like risk that comfort. But anyway, let's get an oracle message here for Taurus in regards to this connection. a lot of cards but that's cool we'll take a look at them all there is to love has been there all along when you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before it's always because you've grown I'm not sure how that applies but maybe it means something to you That is true. Um, you find love in people and places uh, where you haven't found it before because you've grown and uh, I mean, and now you can see that love that you couldn't see before. And, and now you can accept that love into your life, which you were not able to accept before for whatever reason. And by healing and growing, you open yourself up to it and you can see it and accept it now. So perhaps that pertains to the situation somehow. Oh goodness, did I knock my camera at some point? All of a sudden my cards feel really wonky. I'm so sorry if I did this whole reading. I just looked over at the camera right now. If I did the whole thing all wonky, <laughs> that's fine. You needn't worry. There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. So if you're worried about stepping out of your comfort zone in regards to love, I mean, it's saying you needn't worry. Things are about to get really juicy. A little heads up on an, on an addiction that afflicts us, that afflicts all really old souls. Ashley, start over. Things are about to get really juicy. A little heads up on an addiction that afflicts all really old souls. Giving love eventually becomes an even greater need than receiving love. So you're not strange. I remember when this, I remember when this kind of occurred to me in my life, like I've always, I feel like I've always been like a loving person, but like really accepting the fact that giving out that love is really more important to me than receiving it. It was, um, it was like a very big and like, you know, life changing sort of realization, but 
I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure how it applies to you here, but hopefully it does. Hopefully something about this resonated with you and brought you clarity and helped you. Um, and if it did, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear about it. You could post a comment below. You could like the video if you'd like. You could shoot me an email. My email address is in the description box. So please feel free to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy reading tarot. I enjoy sharing messages with people and helping when I can. And so I, everyone who watches a video contributes to my, um, my path here and like moving forward in it. So it means a great deal to me. It really does. So thank you so very much. And please remember to move forward in hope and positivity. Be grateful and be and think positive things because what we think is what we draw into our lives. What we say is what we draw into our lives. If we say, I can never have that, then yeah, you can't have it. But if you say you can and believe that, then you draw that into your life and you open doors to move yourself towards it. So think positive thoughts, be, um, be hopeful. <laughs> and move forward in your life and step out of your comfort zone. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for viewing this. I hope that you have a great day and I hope I see you again. Bye.